This is my dad um, when he worked for the Sheriff's Department. Eight years after Davidson County Sheriff's Office Captain John Brewer went missing, his family believes his case has been botched. So for three years, that from the time he went missing, nobody looked, did anything. They, they didn't even have a police report. And the reason for the delay? A jurisdictional issue. And then Metro and Ashland City had this battle about whose case it was because he left from Metro, went to Cheatham County. Now, Detective Ken Miller with the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office is working to make up for lost time. You know, there's a whole lot of unanswered questions and a lot of that comes in because we're dealing with two different jurisdictions and the delay in actually getting this information that, that he's missing. But I know my first involvement with it was in 2019. Here's what happened. After Brewer left his career in law enforcement, family says he suffered from mental illness. He was ordered to live in a halfway house after an incident in 2011. My dad thought he was a U.S. Marshal, tried to attack his neighbor. He didn't kill his neighbor, thank God, but he could have. He shot at him, so they found my dad not, in, not guilty by mental defect. They sent him to Middle Tennessee Mental Health. In May of 2013, just a few days after checking into the halfway house on Jefferson Street in Nashville, Brewer got up before breakfast and left in a yellow taxi. From there, he went to a bank in Pegram, where he used to live, and withdrew $500. When he uh, took that uh, $500 out of the bank while he was waiting on them to process that transaction, he, uh, he had asked to speak with a particular teller there, or a particular worker. She wasn't available to speak with him immediately, so at that point he uh, became a little annoyed, is kind of what they explained to me. Uh, continued to do his transaction, he got his money, and then he was able to talk to that lady and, and ask her if she would be willing to give him a ride. Uh, by this time, he's already been a little loud, been a little uh, uh, obnoxious in the bank, and she said, no, I can't give you a ride, I can't leave work. And at that point, he went back out, got in a taxi cab, and left. Family disputes this interaction ever became unruly. They closed his account. We get the report from the bank. My dad walks in. The lady says, hi, how are you this morning? And my dad didn't respond. That was her saying my dad was acting erratic. He asked for $200, upped it to five, took five, and left the bank in a car nobody claims they saw and was never seen again. Cheatham County deputies were called about the bank incident, but that's the last time they would be involved until six years later. Uh, our officers got there within 10 minutes of the phone call that, hey, we've got a problem here, and by then he's already gone and left. He went back out and got in the cab and headed back towards Nashville. So. Didn't really have a whole lot to go with at that time other than just an unruly customer. Uh, then we come find out later when, uh, I guess it was been about 2019 is when they first approached uh, Sheriff Breedlove and he asked me to sit in on a meeting with them and see what I could do to try to help them with this case. With eight years gone by, Detective Miller says solving this case will be difficult. How does that make your job so much more complicated? <laughs> Try, just even trying to find records. Uh, the, the cab company that he came out with because they no longer have records from that time span of, of who was driving where, when. Although Brewer's daughter Linda admits her family wasn't the closest to her father, they still want him found. He has three grandkids he don't know. And they talk about Grandpa Johnny, that's what they call him. They know he's missing. They talk about him being missing. Grandkids should not have to talk about their grandfather missing. His niece also wants answers. He's not just some homeless guy that got in some trouble with the law and mentally ill. He was at one time a sheriff's captain. He has kids, he has grandkids. You know, we care what happened to him. And we just, that's all we want to know is what happened to him. News you sat down with family and Detective Miller together. Since that meeting, Miller says he has some new information to look into. However, neither party believes Brewer is alive. There's no way that he's been gone for eight years and has not come across the police at one time or another. My dad had that um, police mentality. He would have either started trouble trying to arrest somebody or got into a scuffle trying to arrest somebody. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office at 615-732-732. 2021. A $5,000 reward is being offered for information in the case.
Here at News 2, we have seen some movement with this case. The family mentioned they wanted the TBI to investigate. We reached out to the district attorney, Ray Crouch, to see if that's something he would consider. Since then, we've been able to put the two in contact, and they are supposed to meet soon. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with any updates on this investigation. Nikki McGee, News 2.